Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and this is a quick look and review of the new features in the latest build of Windows 10 which is built 17666 was released today May the 9th 2018 and uh, it's of course the second build of Redstone 5 now to hit the fastering uh, insiders so there's some new stuff in here uh, we'll be taking a look. Uh, install went well. The uh, general install is rather long as usual on this machine. Nothing unusual. The install per se because you know there's always two phases. There's the preparation towards the install. That is very long. It's like three hours, three hours and a half here. But the install itself, the one moment where your computer is unusable because you're in a uh, blue screen with you know a update screen uh, that is fairly quick um, I, I, I would say that you know it didn't take more than 25 30 minutes um, no problems went super well everything was fine and uh, so been using it of course for a couple of hours making sure that the things are working right um, new and improved of course sets is now with acrylic so uh, before it was like a uh, grayish full type bar but now you got fluent design acrylic when you actually use sets so when you actually use tabs and open up tabs and sets the uh, bar at the top stays acrylic so that's one of the things that is brand new in here uh, so before it was like you know gray um, now it's really acrylic design that is showing up um, you now have also um, some recent, um, so if, you, if you're looking at, you know, um, Microsoft Edge tabs or stuff like that, there's a, you know, a keyboard shortcut, Alt tab, that shows you the different tabs or the different apps or the different things. So the more you have open, the more you'll see that appear. So if I have, you know, Edge open and um, you know maybe I'll um, have so here I have the notepad that's always that's also open uh, you might have multiple tabs in edge and so on when you press alt tab it shows you everything and you can actually move from one to the other and choose which one this is a feature that existed before but they've added a change in this when you actually go to the settings and you go into the um, system and multitasking, you now will have options to change that. So on the bottom sets gives you the ability to change, um, you know, apps and websites automatically open in new tabs, first of, for sets and stuff like that, or windows and tabs. And all of that is happening here in the multitasking stuff. So um, you can change um, whatever will happen and how it's going to work. If you are using a um, feature in the um, sets, so for example, one of the features is you can now, in the notepad, right click and do a search with Bing. So this opens up, of course, the web browser in a second tab, um, part of sets, of course. So for example, if you were to have done this, and there was some music or anything, you would have a little uh, speaker icon that you can click and mute automatically the tab that is now open. Also, um, when you want to restore the open tabs, if you have add sets, they open uh, in the background more seamlessly um, and, and use almost no resource at all. So uh, the experience to open up the tabs that you were actually using is also changed. So there's a few things like that that they've actually changed in here. New clipboard experience. And um, before we do that, like I was saying, there's a few things in Notepad, like uh, there's now, um, that it's you know, Notepad is that thing that's never, never been changed in like ages. Starting now, the uh, there's extended line ending support for Notepad. So for people that, um, you know, uh, want to use it for uh, Unix or Linux line ending or different types of because you know, there's like three different types of line endings depending on the systems that you use so now you can actually change and edit all of that with notepad something you couldn't do before 
The other thing about Notepad that they've added now is, of course, if you right click on something that you've selected, you can search with Bing, which is a feature that did, was not accessible, accessible in Notepad before. So it searches with Bing. Okay, new clipboard experience. So for example, if I start, uh, you know, uh, copying stuff, if I start, um, you know, doing all sorts of things. So here on the bottom right, you see copy here, paste there. There's a little bubble that appeared. Uh, maybe I want to have, you know, this URL here. So what I'll do is copy the URL. Um, now you've got something that if you press the Windows and the letter V, will bring you the clipboard experience. And look at that, it, it gives you a list of everything that you've put on the clipboard, which is nice. So you can actually easily go back and choose whatever that is to paste it somewhere or do whatever you want. So it's pretty cool. It's one, you know, a new, a new way of, of working. So this clipboard experience, uh, but it's not enabled by default. So if you wanna use the clipboard experience, what you'll need to do is go into the settings and into the settings, you will have to go in a uh, system and going down, you'll have clipboard. If you look at that, you have on off switches. They were uh, off by default. So you got to turn them on if you want clipboard, the new clipboard experience to work. And, uh, you know, it works well. You just press the, the windows and the V button and that uh, little clipboard will open up with um, a history of everything. And you can even pin some of these, um, these um, you know, copy text or links or whatever uh, if you want. So this, you know, adds to a new feature. It also adds clipboard across devices. So you see here, sync across devices now something that we were waiting for. Um, you know, we're, some are calling it cloud clipboard. Well, that's pretty much it. You copy something, you copy URL, whatever you will copy or do, you will actually have this um, now appear and you'll be able to paste it on another machine. It's going to sync, sync across devices as long as they're compatible with that. New thing coming to the File Explorer and a lot of people were saying, hey, I want to have that. Will it come soon? Look at that. You finally have the uh, dark team in the File Explorer. That is beautiful. I love it. I'm happy they actually brought this. It's really, really nice. So um, everything is working cool. And even the menu that you choose is gray and, you know, kind of darker themed. So it's pretty nice. Um, really, really nice to have that available. And depending on what you have, so for example, if you if you want to have the uh, the different um, you know bars, toolbars, and so on, you will have access to all of that um, using the different menus, of course. And depending on what you want to have as um, officially appearing in the toolbars. So um, dark team, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Um, also, there's a um, new way of actually, you know, searching. They've um, made the search experience when you use um, the panel here with Cortana bigger. So you see it's already bigger here. It takes a big chunk of the screen. Um, you know, if I search for uh, Intel, for example, and you'll see that there's a... Uh, a um, big panel that's appearing with you know uh, information so whatever you're searching for the web or anything th there's a much more information here so it is better uh, they've added things like uh, for example uh, you can ask questions like are bananas good for you and at you'll have a panel here and look at that. The first thing that you see is, oh, bananas are so healthy and so on. You, you, you kind of have, you know, a, um, a panel that immediately tells you, oh yeah, bananas are good, so you should be eating them. So, you know, uh, more information, easier, without having to open your web browser. I think that is kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, of course, there was this uh, thing where we could make folders and put apps in different folders. But one of the biggest problems with that was that the naming 
of the folders was a problem. You could not really rename folders and, and, and have it appear in the tile. Now you can. So when you actually open a tile, there's a possibility to name it and it actually shows the name when you actually have just a tile appear, which is pretty nice here, like internet, for example, in this case. Um, apart from that, if you have questions about settings, if of course are going around the settings app and try to make it uh, as clear as possible. So when you go into a different options, you'll get here on the right side, much more information and much more bubble of what you can do and how things can help you doing things. Videos that, you know, will show you how to do different little things. And uh, they're, they're really trying to have settings as easy as possible and have tons of explanation for you. So all of that is also made better. Phone and computer have made a new connection. So uh, in this build, I can't really find anything different right now. But apparently, we have to look back at the next few builds that are coming. Because a lot of things are coming soon. So... We all knew we could link our phones. We could continue from phone by using, uh, you know, a, uh, a continue where we left off functionality. So, for example, from my phone, I could easily, um, you know, continue where I left off on a page with Edge. Well, there will be more of that coming, including ability to um, send and receive and read on your screen text messages. Um, all, all sorts of things are going and experience is going to happen. So the more we go on with these builds, apparently the more functionalities we'll have with what we are going to be able to do with the phone on the device. So all of these new little things happening right now. Of course, lots of uh, bug fixes, but a lot of problems. And one of them is a known issue. If you see that your insider build is stuck somewhere between 80% or 100% and it seems to do nothing, be patient. It could take up to an hour for some computers to complete that stage. It's not stuck. Let it do what it has to do um, because it, it will eventually go on. So there's a lot of other little things happening. There's a lot of uh, there's a, you know bugs and sets and office and so on. So, of course, you know, this is... Uh, beta software it's totally normal that there are things that don't work right but uh, overall I haven't had any problems and it works really really well for me so that was the uh, look at build 17666 the latest fast ring build of redstone 5 windows 10 if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching our videos